that was Melinda's world. It hit her the hardest, you know. I'm, I'm so much older. I've seen seen it all. I've, you know, seen all of this stuff, you know. And it's never easy. But when it's right there in your face and you know that you're, you know, my granddaughter was right there living the whole thing for 13 years, you know, it hurts my heart because she was so hurt, you know. It was so real. It was so real. You know, you see these horrible things on TV about where they go in and collect the children and, or, you know, just some of the funky stuff you have to see on TV. And that was so real. I mean, people live like that. And that's, that's really sad. That's really sad. When she said stop hitting my brother I was like oh my god and then the the Ashley one and the Michael one where the mom's like you're worthless you're not gonna do anything that reminded me of my past as well I was like oh my god and then Ashley that one really got to me that one that one hit home I was like oh my god that's my life right there and then when we left it was just hard it was hard I had I had to cry it was hard yeah. I think that so many people are hiding, you know, young kids and even wives and even husbands are hiding, can, are hiding sometimes and this may bring it out and heal some people. I'm hoping it, it's a start to heal her. Because I was afraid for a long time and then it gets better and that there's help out there for people like us and it's not the end of the world. I mean, I, we feel like it sucks to be us, like no one wants to listen, no one cares, but that's the exact opposite. I mean, my Nana out there, she cares so much for me, and she's my, she's my support in everything. I don't know where I would be without her, and it's just, I mean, never be afraid. It, it's not your fault.